In this video, I'm about to show you how you can start with problem solving one way of seams. You can see there is a seam here and seam there, seam here and there and well, pretty much everywhere there and there and and there. And I'm mostly addressing uh, these kind of issues, right? So it's uh, J Rocket who's asking this question. Um, it's uh, four days ago or something. Um, it just takes longer to answer it on a longer video, so I waited for the weekend to come. Okay, so how do we do this? Well, we can see that these checkers don't match, and this already suggests that, uh, the light mass resolution aren't even, and it also suggests it's too low for this modular level design. So, to deal with this, all you have to do but I'm going to explain it a bit more than just telling you what to do this time. So if I increase the light map resolution, which I purposely put on 5 to um, get close to what you have, basically. If I increase the light map resolution, you can see that everything that has enough space based on 32 light map is increasing. And then eventually they stop. So... Now the poster is the only thing that's moving. And there's some cones. So I'll stop at 55. And I'm gonna generate the light map. I'm gonna pause. Alright, so you can see now that the light maps are a bit different. But you will notice one specific thing is that this stair area and the wall is one object, first of all. Which is why the light map is this big compared to this wall, which is small object. So this one isn't getting a big enough light map size to utilize a resolution of 55. Right? That's the key thing to understand here. So if I do this, you can still see a seam, even though it's more obvious and cleaner seam. You'll do you'll notice that some of the areas have been started to uh, get removed and less visible in the process areas that have more matching geometry and matching resolution. So if I go to bake light map, you'll see they are matching a bit more, thus they have less of a seam. This is not the case everywhere. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna increase the light map size to 256 and you'll suddenly see that everything has a larger amount of space to work with. So we'll do 40 maybe. And just to save some rendering time, I'm just going to turn off the lamps from this scene. And then I'm going to do another bake. Alright, so you can see that they all have even higher resolution now. So if we have a look, you can see that a lot of the seams are disappearing. I have a shaded look, and you can see that... There's a small seam here we gotta work with, but that's actually just a shadow. But because the shadow lands on the seam, you might spot a little bit here. So, generally speaking, you can see that most of the stuff and the seams are gone when you are able to get a nice little balance. Um, there's a lot of noise here, which is normally where filtering comes in, but for the sake of um, experiment, I'm going to do a 1024 light map size and a 55. You'll see it's quite pretty high resolution. So I'm going to do a bake for that. Obviously, we can notice that because of the amount of light map size, they're utilizing the resolution of 55 pixel per pixel per unit. You can see it's pretty clean. And detail but you'll see that it doesn't make that much of a big difference so what we'll do we'll go back to 40 because 256 because we don't want 128 megabyte that's a lot we're gonna compress the light map we'll bite the bake the ambient occlusion we want to have a four and four light bounce we don't need to increase the samples. I know a lot of people do that and think that's important. 
uh, we can increase we're gonna wait with increasing this one we're gonna generate light map all right that's that's good now we're gonna do another bake but we're gonna do that on medium generate this one goes pretty quick so I'm gonna just leave it for now what you'll notice hopefully is that the brightness overall increases overall in the scene I say brightness but that's not really what's happening okay and then to sort out the the noise I normally go to open image dinner put it to normally put this down to two as well you know it takes time and everything let's do the gen with light map I'll turn on one of the lamps again just to show you the, the difference in the shadow and intensity now the next thing we're going to do just to clean it up because we still have five minutes left for the video before it gets 10 minutes which is kind of the max time for my videos right now we're gonna just go ahead and do 256 256 256 okay now we did 256 256 256 this was before that and i just wanted to show that there's no obvious differences so there's no point paying the cost for it okay so just keep it on 32 32 instead what you might want to do do a thousand and twenty four and i'm gonna do a bake i normally do this during pause so i'm gonna pause and do a bake okay so this doesn't increase the cost too much um, but you'll see a difference right if you pay attention to the shadow here for example is the most obvious so we know that in terms of quality now 1024 is you know it's worth it's worth the upgrade uh, more that's questionable we're not going to show you that here so i wouldn't touch any more here but what i would do now is to reduce this size and keep the quality we want to downsize the reason for that is when you look at the baked light map there's quite a lot of details going on here now i've already done a little bit of tweaks previously so i don't know if it's saving it now so this is on one scale in light map this is a curve equivalent to adjusting these settings this is universal over all over the scene this is um per object so what i would normally do if you just quickly just memorize this scene i'm gonna pause and i just show you with just one example we're gonna go 0 0.5 right see the difference so i'm gonna pause and i'm gonna do everything and uh, i'll come back all right so here you can see that it looks almost identical to the other version right but behind the scenes we have cut down uh, a lot so we had 21 megabyte so we have cut down quite a few the darker areas you could probably cut down more and there's another step involved in this process to even save more space um and i'll pause and i'll set up something and i'll show you what that is as well it bugged out a little bit here so don't want to wait too much so i'm just gonna took a screenshot instead so what you can do is you can uh, unstatic some of the objects you'll see they don't show up on the baked light map but they are there obviously right and then you can uh, place out some light probes and when you bake it they won't be baked so they'll stand out in a different way because they aren't being baked but in some cases you might want to do that right and uh, basically what happens then is that uh, you can then reduce the light map size you can increase the light map resolution and kind of tweak the sizes in that sense so that's it i'll make some more videos about light map and understanding it but this was mainly to solve the seam but also start talking about how to optimize the scene once you have figured out the seams issue you don't want to keep everything uh, on um, on their max size you want to optimize it down basically is the, is the purpose here right 
So hopefully that was useful. And if you have any more questions, if you like the video, all that, just like, subscribe, and I'll keep uh, creating some content for you guys. Thanks for watching.